Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, a few people have signed up recently, so thank you very much for subscribing. Um, it's not really my objective, but good that people find the content interesting. One of the videos that's kind of done the best is really ship simulation in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, for all the people that have subscribed, I've decided to buy one of these uh, store assets. So you get them under aircraft, under uh, other as a category, you have to kind of scroll down. Um, and you can see here that there's a sailing boat. Um, they're all from Rodrigo Morales. So well done, Rodrigo, for, for doing this. You're the first, you know, really to do that. Um, and I went ahead and bought this uh, anchor handling tug, um, which looks a bit like this. Um, if I scroll down, you can see there's plenty of information about it based on a real Ooh. vessel. Um, excuse that. And you can see here it's a beautiful 3D model and there's a few liveries or paint jobs available with it. Uh, there's some limited, well, I wouldn't really call it interior space, so there's a few um, areas of the vessel that you can see. So we're just going to take it for a spin and I'll just um, get it up and running for you. I've realized I don't have my North Sea assets, but normally I do have thousands of, of rigs here from Aerosoft. I'm just going to set that as a departure. Um, as you can see, I picked this up, by the way. It's a great aircraft if you want to try it. Um, but we're here to look at ships. So this is the Havyard 842. And let's have a look at the colors and go in with a nice orange here. So real-time weather or live weather. Uh, I've got the audio coming through a speaker. Hopefully it's not too disturbing. I'll just turn that down a bit. And you should get desktop audio coming through the, the audio mixer there. Yeah, I've gone ahead and bought this uh, so you don't have to. <laughs> um, there still seems to be a major issue with Microsoft Flight Simulator and ships, which is specifically the weather veining. So you'll see this once I load it in. Um, I have seen from that Got Friends double ender that there is a parameter which they can edit, which changes the amount of weather veining. So uh, Rodrigo Morales, if you're watching this, um, it would be very good if you could reduce that weather veining. I'm not too sure if it's a, a factor of the rudder area or something like that, but it would be really cool if we could have less weather veining. But all the ships I've tried just now, including the supply ship from Aerosoft, they all suffer from weather veining. I've unplugged my rudder pedals. I set it up with a controller um, and it still seems to weather vein. So basically here's our vessel. Uh, click ready to fly. As you can see, we've got a very nice bridge here. We've got a few people. You can actually see the weather veining going on outside there. So it spins around into the wind direction. Uh, we've got an interactive map here, which is one of the Asobo um, things, as far as I remember. I can't remember how to operate this. Um, we've got an engine startup and an engine shutdown. Uh, we don't have interactable controls yet. Uh, and they don't work with the VR controllers, but we've got a pretty nice bridge here. We've got some good screens up here. Uh, none of them do anything at the moment. And yeah, from within the bridge, we can just use the keys or controllers that you've got and put both throttles forward. Um, I've got a few other things here which are interesting for just looking at the vessel from when you're outside. So here we go. And you can see that she takes off there quite nicely. I'm going to look at wind. So we do have 15 knots, uh, not surprisingly, on the nose just now. So that's from uh, southwest, I think. And if I turn the vessel, so using the, the rudders, we can see that the there's no real simulation of hydrodynamics in Microsoft Flip Flight Simulator. So you get a kind of sudden turning just depending on how quickly you do the rudders. And of course, a, a vessel like this won't turn like this. Um, 
yeah, the vessel of itself is beautiful. It's a beautiful model, probably just an asset which has been downloaded. Um, I would say that it's not optimized at all. It's like nine gigabyte. You should be able to get this down to about one and still have the same fidelity. Um, so it's probably got loads of polygons and very high resolution textures, which are not really needed for flight sim. Uh, but you can see it's a beautiful model. It's nice to have these ships uh, in the sim. Um, a few other things that I've set up here is I've got here sim rate. And this is what Rodrigo says uh, is the best way to use the vessel. So if you're going to do kind of long distance, you just use the sim rate and you can... Let's go over to these wind turbines over here. So I'm having to press full rudder. And as you can see, it just stops turning at some point so what we'll do is go back here set that back to one and then we'll go to weather we can change this weather here ah sorry i getting used to this flow thing so i need to actually pick up the microsoft weather panel and you can see as long as there's no ground wind so the default here is zero sorry surface wind you can see that we can do our turn around here to the, to this wind farm. Let go of the rudder and it will stay in that direction. Um, and now this is where we typically use increase our sim rate here. You can see it's pulling around to the right. So it must be a tiny bit of wind. And with our good old sim rate, we can pull up to one of these uh, vessels. Sorry. Bring this back up. And there we go, pulling up to our vessel, see what that looks like from the inside. We can, of course, use the keys to move around on the inside. These are keys which are set up for moving around the cockpit. Um, I have tried this in VR. It does work in VR. It doesn't kill the frame rate that much. Um, but as you can see here, it's kind of nicer to control these kind of things from outside. So a bunch of things which are, are, I'm not too sure if they're in the developer's uh, hands. Um, that weather veining effect, as I've seen from Got Friends, can be adjusted. And it'd be really good to get rid of that because that basically stops you from using it in any kind of uh, wind. And of course, then there's, there's no real hydrodynamics. So you can do a turn like this and it turns really fast. Uh, but maybe hoping that Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 adds some of the mechanics um, that are needed to make these more marine related things work in the simulator. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, let's go back here and just do what everybody wants. Let's just increase that level there. So you get a more realistic sea. Microsoft Flight Simulator does have this amazing sea uh, simulation. Uh, but as you can see here, there's not really a very detailed hydrodynamic simulation going on on the vessel there. It does move around a bit, uh, but not really according to the waves like we get in Stormworks or Virtual Sailor or um, Ver what's it called? Not Vertalis Home. <laughs> you know the one I mean from V-Step. Um, so. I would probably hold off on buying any add-ons for Flight Simulator just now. It is nice to visually, you know, sail around like this, especially in areas where um, you're not used to. One thing I did notice is that the wind's coming from uh, the west here, but the wind turbines are blowing as if it's coming from the north. So that's uh, just a Microsoft Flight Simulator thing. Uh, and again, you can go in here and then add your speed if you want to tra transverse a little bit of the ocean you can use that the simulation rate and speed it up um, and of course you've got the great microsoft weather here so you can add clouds and sorry add some coverage density of these clouds scattered there are Let's bring it down. Uh, isn't that an amazing sim? And you can just create these absolutely amazing 
environments uh, with the weather, that weather you know, being a key, key part of any maritime simulation. So let's hope the Microsoft Flight Sim uh, 2024 adds a bunch of things that will make this possible. Um, there are a couple of animations on this vessel. So if you can use the flaps here, you can see that that crane animates. Uh, but we're not at the level of having anything like Stormworks where we can use cranes and have physics on the cranes. That would be so cool if you could launch the rib here, get in the rib, uh, do things, anchor the vessel, all these kind of things. Just before I finish, let's just uh, anchor that. So I'm not too sure what happens if I put this anchor down. Let's just go back here. Um, do anchor chain. Maybe we need to be shut down. Uh, here we go. So once the vessel stop, you can put out the anchor chain. Again, it's just a visual thing. It looks quite nice. And I'm assuming we can put on mooring rope on at the same time. So mooring rope, yeah, it should be tying it onto some dock side. So you can pull up to a dock, and you can see there they're just going down into the ground. If there's a dock, I'm not too sure if it does a a ray cast onto the dock, but again, it's just a visual thing. Um, one more thing I'm going to test, I'm going to do like my sea trials is, um, let's do night time. So again, Microsoft Flight Simulator has this amazing lighting engine. Uh, let's go inside and take off mooring rope and anchor. So you see it started to move there with the waves again. Um, so yeah, Rodrigo's done a great job with the lighting there. Um, on the drone view, which I couldn't get working for a while. All right, it's working again. All right, here we go. So now you can do some really nice things like fly into these areas, which are pretty hard to access otherwise. Um, so that's using the drone camera. I'm using an Xbox controller, and that allows you to explore this vessel a little bit more in detail, give it what it's worth. So you can see here there's not much in the inside. Um, but look at that lighting, isn't that fantastic? Not too sure how that comes across in the video. Let's do change to the weather and we'll make it dawn. The lights dynamically go on and off there. Uh, let's bring up that cloud here, make it a little bit more of a beautiful day. And we'll take that wind, put that down to more of a calm. Day. Very nice for the North Sea. We'll do one final fly around with the drone just so you get to appreciate this this beautiful 3D asset here. And hopefully I'll get a good thumbnail where I leave it like that for a few seconds. And maybe we want another thumbnail like that. So that is my first payware for Microsoft Flight Simulator that's not an aircraft, um, it's a ship. Um, as I said, uh, this weather veining problem seems to be the main issue. Um, I don't really know a way around that at the moment. Um, if anybody knows if it's a setting, as I said, I have tried it without my rudder pedals. I created a new setup where I just use keys. Um, it does say in the instruction uh, manual that you have to use trim to counteract that. So I'm pretty sure Rodrigo is, is aware of that, uh, the developer. Yeah, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. That is another ship in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I think I will go and just do that final fly pass like this and put you in the distance with the drone. Thanks very much for watching. And I probably won't test any more add-ons until Microsoft fix something. Um, maybe if anybody wants to do multiplayer um, I'll be up for doing a video with somebody else in multiplayer, two people with the same add-on um, or two different vessels and we could uh, do some kind of simulated operations. That's all for now. Cheers. Bye-bye.